Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm a wildlife artist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, as artists, we generally all collect things like materials and books and whatnots. And sometimes the books really don't live up to expectations. The covers look really brilliant. They promise that they're going to teach you to draw. They promise they're going to teach you to paint. And it really doesn't live up to it. So every Thursday, I'm going to look through my own personal art book collection and drag out some books take a look inside, show you all the details and let you know whether I think it's worth you spending your hard earned cash. Now the first book up is this one by Edward Aldrich. So let's take a look inside and see what's in there. Okay, so basically when you buy an instruction book, a tutorial book like this, what you want to know is, is it any good? Is it gonna show me how to paint, how to draw and that type of thing? <clears throat> because all too often these books just jump steps way too many steps and you really can't get anything out of it of any value so let's take a look you've got the normal preface and things like that and then we go on to materials and he covers things very basically to start with so you've got just a few lines on charcoal conti crayons and even pencils doesn't really go into any great depth it would have been better if he'd actually give some more um types of brands and things like that that he actually used himself or was using himself he, he just shows photographs every now and again but remember this is not a drawing book it's it really is a book aimed at painting and painting with oils so things like drawing boards and papers they just briefly covered oil materials that's really starts to really go into depth and then we are talking about brands exactly what he's using painting mediums that he makes up varnishes he covers briefly even down to preparing his masonite type panels so that's nice brushes he also goes into it in depth as well and also showing how he used aged brushes and even how he does age the brush himself prematurely just to give the fur effects watercolor material that again is just briefly covered just one page or two pages there so you know this is really about oil painting rather than pencil or watercolor or anything like that it covers other brief subjects finding a subject there's images throughout this book which is really nice he's showing charcoal drawing and it's also images by other well-known and respected artists too so it's not just his own work so he is showing other things and then we go on to drawing and how certain people draw various ways but that's briefly covered working from photographs working from slides nothing really new here remember this book was done in 1998 so computers weren't really at the level they are now and I also started working from slides as well and working from slides really gives you that that impression that you're really there in the field or as close as you can be to that feeling and that look without actually being there remember when you're working from a photograph the lightest light is going to be white like on this book the paper when you're working from a slide then you it's illuminated and that really um, captures lighting and things like that much better it's much more natural it's almost like being there of course these days now in 2015 we all got big monitors or we got the option to get larger monitors and we can work from that and i myself work from computer monitor now rather than slides slides can be really cumbersome because if you're painting big and you want it want to look at it quite large you need to have a large um area to project on the room needs to be fairly dark but your painting surface needs to be light and that causes problems so it's quite possible that Edward now uses computers as well and, and tablets and things. So he then goes on to drawing animals and that's very brief again. He shows a few examples of his studies and sketches. And he also goes on to drawing a basic owl and it is basic, just a few steps. But once again, remember this is not a drawing book. It's not meant to show you how to draw and, and it doesn't really, it just gives you basic ideas. But that's 
Here's why I love the book, it's the painting process. Now this is where it differs from virtually every other technique book I've got because they all jump massively different stages and this one really does go into the details. So he really talks about glazing quite a lot. He gives examples here of how he uses a wet medium on the canvas so that his brush strokes flow more freely than if the, the canvas is dry. And he gives some small examples as well of painting different types of fur. This is an area I thought the book could have really been expanded upon to make it superb. And there's the first of the demonstrations of a wolf. There's only a few steps. There's only five steps up to the finished article. But even then, the writing is really in depth and he does talk you through how he layers the paints. Painting eyes, painting feathers, very brief. Not a lot of information in there at all. You're not going to learn a great deal from that section. Crayons, mixed media, watercolour. There's no progress shots whatsoever there. But then this is where it really starts taking off again. Getting started, the painting process, and he walks you through a Siberian tiger painting, a large detailed painting, two foot by four foot, and this really is in depth. This is the whole section of the book that made me want to buy it. And it was 15 years ago when I first had it, really invaluable. It changed the way I thought about painting completely and started to introduce layering and glaze into me. I don't follow these. Um, he uses liquid a lot and things like that. I don't do everything like he does these days. I've really adapted it as all artists do to their own um, painting style as you develop. But this was a brilliant starting block. And you can see the way the painting ends that Edward is really is a master artist, a superb what he can achieve with this. But obviously you, you've got to change it to suit yourself. The second or third demonstration then is the snow leopard. A little bit briefer than the tiger, but it's a very different subject as well. And he shows how it builds up. I would love to have seen a couple more stages between these, just so that he could show how that came about. And the final result there, as you can see, is really superb could have done with a little bit more text then there's a very brief demonstration of a bison now this is what you normally see in lots of magazines and books just really jump in in between the stages from there to there is a massive difference and there to there so the text is pretty good it's quite detailed He's got a few more demonstrations of other subjects in there. Here's one by Dino Paravano. So that's um, pastel, I think that one was. Oh, that's oil on canvas as well, but that's really jumpy in the stages. And another one. That's the pastel. But you're not going to learn, I don't think, a lot from there. It's just really showing a master artist at work. A few sections then on Beyond Technique inspiration so this is just wrapping it up really and quite briefly the composition very brief so that kind of wraps the book up using light effectively painting animal portraits but you can see how these are really just fillers almost to the book the main section there's a section on composing with photographs. It would have been nice to have had a few more pages showing different ideas there. But, but it's still quite useful. So you can see how he's pieced together the idea, ideas, combined them with one light in effect. But what really sold it for me is this tiger section. And it's superbly detailed. And I think that makes the book worthwhile in getting. And it's the reason when I saw that, I could really see how most of these other books miss out so many sections. This is if the artist almost has secrets that they don't want to give away. And this book was really the first one that walked me through the stages. And that's what prompted me to start doing my own books as I learned myself to share the knowledge a bit more.
So I hope this has been useful for you. I'm going to do a new one every week and um, pick out some more books. Some are going to be good, some are going to be bad, and that's the whole idea of a review, honest opinions. So see you all again real soon. Hope you've enjoyed this short video. If so, you may like to go over to my website, jasonmorgan.co.uk. There I've got lots of full length feature videos on techniques and tips. I've got eBooks. I've got 800 reference photos, all with the new Easy Trace line art and so much more. So that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Also on YouTube every Friday, I've got Free Photo Friday. Every Thursday, I'm doing art book reviews. And every Tuesday, it's tips and also art product reviews. So don't forget to come back soon.